Our top story this afternoon. South Korea reported the highest number of new COVID-19 infections on Wednesday. For the first time ever, the daily caseload surpassed the 7,000 mark. And on top of this, the number of critically ill patients have also jumped above 800 and more Omicron cases have been found. Shin Ye brings us the latest. It's the first time the country's daily caseload has surpassed 7,000. On Wednesday, the total daily tally reached 7,175. The number of critically ill patients also went up by 66, going above the 800 mark, also for the first time since the pandemic began. The exact number was 840. Regarding the sudden uptick, Prime Minister Kim Bu-gyum shared his concerns. We've seen a sharp jump in daily infections and our medical capacity is quickly running short. Accordingly, the prime minister said the country would enhance the at-home treatment system. To make treating patients at home an easier and more convenient option, the prime minister proposed on reducing the number of days of at-home treatment from 10 to 7 days. He also said financial stipends would be given out based on the number of people in each household. Oral COVID-19 medication will also be given to those in the high-risk category being treated at home from early next year. Apart from at-home treatment, the Prime Minister called for active participation in vaccinations from teens and seniors eligible for booster shots. He also asked anyone showing symptoms to actively get tested, which would significantly help contain the spread of Omicron cases. The number of people infected with the Omicron variant rose by two, bringing the total number of cases to 38. What's worrisome is that some of the Omicron infections we've witnessed so far in the country have been transmitted very quickly. One person was infected by just being inside the same restaurant as an individual who was later confirmed to have Omicron. The contact had been brief, only one to two minutes, prompting authorities to say that Omicron seems to be much more transmissible than the Delta variant. They added there's a very high chance Omicron could spread through the air, which means spread is not just possible through direct contact, but also by staying in a closed space for a period of time with someone that has been infected. It remains to be seen just how contagious Omicron is and how easily it can spread compared to other variants. Shin Yeun, Arirang News.